guys, I'm back in the studio. It is Monday. And I'm just showing you these four paintings that I did over the past two weeks. Um, there's the white one. I think I called it Winter Storm. The one next to it there, I forgot what I called that, but that's been sold and it's headed to California. Um, gosh, I forgot the name of these paintings. Then these other two over here. So, um, yeah, so I'm going back to reusing another canvas, a uh, 15 by 30 canvas, and I am going to try to do a simpler dump and swirl with only two paints. The black paint being the dump paint, and then that blue as being the um, puddle all by itself. So I'm going for monochromatic, literally. So here's the consistency of the paint. It's a little thick, but not too bad. It's mounding just ever so slightly. And then the blue here, which is ice blue, and a little bit of Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. This is going right in, so this is much thinner. So what I'm planning on doing is trying to do a simple pour. Um, since it's 15 by 30, I only need, where is my, Look at that stained old chart, 15 by 30, 16 ounces. So this is a little bit more than 16 ounces, so I'm not gonna use all of this. And this is about eight ounces here. So the goal is to obviously tilt and try to get some sort of composition. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to lay the blue. I'm gonna make like a big oval. I'm not gonna make a circle. And I'm gonna do the same with the black. I'm gonna pour it on top. I think, or may pour it just in the middle. Um, and we'll tilt and we'll see what we get. So guys, um, let me get my gloves on and we're gonna get started.
Okay, guys, I'm back. That was about 30, 40, 45 minutes. So I'm liking it again. It's blue. <laughs> again, I'm just going through some old colors. I don't know if you can see my messy tray over there. I've got some leftover paints. I'm just trying to get those out. And so I figured I'd use it on this repurposed canvas. So I wanted to say I learned a few things today um, based on some of the experimenting I did with the other paintings that I showed you earlier in the video that... Um, First of all, you don't need a whole lot of puddles to get a lot of color. Second of all, um, he sealed up really nicely, and this was not extreme sheen. This was just um, DecoArt Metallics Ice Blue with a little bit of um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. So I got some blue. Oop, all the way up. I know, this is so bad. Um, well, first let me talk about what I like about it. What I like about the painting is that, first of all, it's 15 by 30, so it's a long painting. Doing dump and swirls are difficult. So what I said earlier, what I was going to try to do is do two big ovals. But then when I started pouring the black, I realized that if I'm creating a big oval, that I'm going to have, almost like I have here, a big um, negative space instead of a circular one or a smaller one. So that's probably one reason why it's, it's this length. Um, which is fine because I still think it's a pretty cool painting and I think it looks pretty cool. It's just sort of abstract, um, it's monochromatic, it's just sort of simple. Um, the other thing is, is that I'm glad I don't have a whole lot of cells on the side here. So what I'm going to do when this is dry, just bring it down here on the floor, is I'm going to paint the edges black. And you can see over the corner here, I'm going to paint all this black and leave those cells just clean it up to paint it black, um, to clean it. And since the edges are kind of sloppy looking because of the, the pouring, and I poured over uh, an altered canvas, I'm gonna trim that out in black, and I think it'll look really cool. So let me just show you some more of the matrix. It's very blue, which is awesome. I have some ideas for a very large canvas, a 30 by 40, something similar. Um, so we'll see. Okay, guys, enough chit-chatting here. I would probably hang it something like this. Um, maybe the other side, I'm not real sure. Okay, guys, take care. We will see you soon.